Hi guys, it's Emma here. So today's video is going to be another video of me setting up my weekly page in my Midori Traveller's Journal. So today I'm going to be using for my base some of the Glimmer Mists from Tattered Angels. I have a selection here. So the colours that I'm going to be using are Bahama Blue, Almost Black, Coffee Shop and Tattered Leather. So I have put in some kitchen towel to protect my pages underneath just in case these decide to bleed through. So we will see. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to give them a good old shake. Make sure that the pigment's really mixed up. And then I'm lightly going to start spraying around the edges of my page. I like that this black creates some nice splatters. So there's that one. Now I am going to let my page dry off in between each layer just because I don't want to saturate it and I don't want it to start to crinkle being as we're using a, um, a liquid product. So I'm just going to add a few more down here that I can see. I'm going to pop them in the top corner. There we go. And now I'm just going to let that dry and then come back and add my next layer. Okay, so the first layer is nearly dry. And I have to say, I'm so impressed at this because look, there is no ghosting whatsoever onto the next page. It hasn't bled through, it hasn't done anything. The ink has just sat on top of the page where I put it and it has dried beautifully. So let's go in with the next layer. The next layer is going to be Bahama Blue. Again, give it a good old shake. It helps sometimes if you just tap the bottom and that can get the pigment going and get it moving especially when they're quite full because this is a new one so let's give that one a good spray get the spray going right so I'm going to add that in and around but more concentrated than the black and I'm going around the edges of the page with this And then I'm just going to leave that layer to dry as well. Okay, so that one is dry. And again, just to note that there is no bleeding, no ghosting, nothing. These sit on the page amazingly. So the next layer that I'm going to go in with is Coffee Shop. And I just want to add a few little rusty accents here. So I'm going to open the bottle. And I'm just going to take the stick and I'm just going to tap a few splatters on first. Just like that. And then the next colour, the last colour that I'm going to use, sorry, is Tattered Leather. And again, I just want a few little hints of this, but because it's a light one, I'm going to go directly right by the page, just testing first, and just add little bits in a few areas. There we go. That's just to give sort of an aged sepia look to the page. So I'm going to let that dry one last time. Right, so now that that page is all dry, I'm going to take the kitchen towel out from underneath. And you can see what a beautiful shimmery effect my pages have got. It's almost like a sort of oily mermaid vibe going on there. So, to further decorate my page, I've got a few items here that I'm going to use. I've got two sheets of paper that I'm going to cut some of the elements out of. And these are Seven Gypsies papers. And the is, let's have a look, 
It's the Architectures Collection Floral Guide and the Architectures Collection Painted Doors. So I really like the tiles on this design. I think it's going to fit in lovely, especially with the muted minty colours there. And the doors here are just beautiful. So that's that. I also have two packets of ribbons from Seven Gypsies and these are the Architectures Ribbons. We all know that I love ribbons. I can't do my traveller's notebook without them. I love them. And the last thing that I have to use are some of these architectures. And these are self-adhesive, what do we call them? Um, sort of self-adhesive trinkets and things. And they're amazing. There's, they come in so many different designs. And the thing that I like about them is that they are they're slightly puffy but they're flat enough to be able to stick in your traveller's notebook without making you know without making it difficult to write on on the back of it or apply anything else on top they're absolutely wonderful so we're going to use a few of those as well and see how we get along so i'm going to go ahead and cut some of these tiles out and then i'll be back to lay it all out in a minute right so i've got my little pieces cut out my little tiles in my door. Now with the tiles I just went around the edge of them with a Tim Holtz distress tool just to rough them up slightly and I'm going to do the same with the edge of the door but I'm only doing this to the top the one side and it's only very slightly and the bottom. Now with the door I did leave a little bit of an edge around it so that I could fold it over. So the plan is that I will stick just the folded edge down and then the door will be able to open on the page. So I'm hoping that I've left enough of a fold. So you might want to leave a bit of a bigger one because mine might not work, but we will see. So I'm gonna go ahead before I put those on and I'm going to take one of these sheets of ribbons. Now they come in a big sheet, a really big sheet. Let's open that out. Okay, so they come in a big sheet like this. And then I'm going to um, cut a few of them out that I want because I don't want to be working with this big sheet in case any of the others come off. So I'm just going to cut a few of them out that I want and then I'm going to put them onto the page. Right, so I've cut out my ribbons and I've gone with a flower, a little sentiment, a moon, some ants and a couple of flies. So really random bits and pieces, but still. So I'm going to go ahead now and start laying everything out, decide where I want everything and then I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Now to glue it down I will be using Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. This is a really nice glue with a fine precise nozzle at one end and a lovely thick brush nozzle at the other end, or broad tip rather. And on some of the tiles I may go around and edge them with a black chalk um, what do you call these? A black chalk edger, I suppose. Uh, that's from Prima and that's in black coal. And I literally just touch up the edges of the tiles just to give them a bit of definition and make them stand out and pop a bit from the rest of the page. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and lay everything out. Okay, so here's the finished page and I'm extremely pleased with how this turned out. I absolutely adore using the glimmer mists in here. That is something that I will definitely be repeating as still just nothing, no bleed through, no ghosting, no nothing. So I'm really pleased that my little door worked out, especially being as I didn't leave a big fold. So, yep, and the architectures just add some lovely, interesting and unusual elements to the page that can be felt but aren't, you know, aren't over the top, aren't heavy, aren't going to damage the page. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to check those out, I will leave links for everything in the description box down below. The ribbons, I did find them very, very easy to use. You didn't have to rub hard to get them to leave the, uh, the original paper. The only thing that I would have done different with the ribbons is 
where I lost some detail, I think that's because I went over on top of the glimmer mist, whereas maybe next time I would put the rub-ons on first and then the glimmer mist on top. I think it just sort of uh, reacted badly when I put the rub-ons on. And as you can see, they were fine in the places where there was barely any of the glimmer mist out. So I would just do that the other way around next time. But yeah, I'm extremely happy with this and um, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.